You feel me? We all go through the same distraught and pain. We all need goddamn therapy in this situation. So we still learning how to figure it out the correct way. You know, and we gotta sometimes we gotta sit down, we gotta we gotta put our pride to the side and, and let our ego drop in and then just speak to each other heart to heart. You feel me? I get it, we get hurt sometimes. We done been through a lot of pain, we done been through a lot of situations that don't always allow us to properly communicate, but understand the empathy that we gotta have for each other. We come from a place of broken promises. We come from a place of broken promises. It's astonishing that we still standing with all the things that we've been through on this planet, but we here, you know, and we here for a reason. So as we grow, we got to collaborate. As we collaborate, we have to learn. And as we learn, we have to teach. And as we teach, we can grow those who, who usually can't be reached, but they so far in the dark, that I mean, we got to go find them. Or we got to go send somebody else there and find them, the people that we teach and let it reverberate. Because the goal is about creating a system. Right, we see what's going on. A lot of times we can't even say everything that's going on. They go, they go shadow ban a channel. They go say it's disinformation, misinformation, malinformation. You know what I'm saying? They don't even, they don't even let the truth be told, and everybody know this. Everybody in the world is, is, is being so dismissive, and every single day they are killing your rights. They taking away your freedom of speech, your freedom of movement, your freedom of media. They taking away all your freedoms, and we just so silent every single day, and we just hoping somebody else stand up. But we don't want it to be us because we don't want to be the one out there. Man, what has they done to your soul? Are you consenting to this evil? We got to stop allowing these things to happen. We got to stop falling when men, we got to stop laughing when men fall. You got to learn. As Minister Farrakhan say, you say, you got to learn when men fall. Learn. Don't laugh. People don't be wanting to be serious about nothing. And that's why nothing serious and good happens to you. No, nah, man, we got to learn how to, we're going to enjoy this life. And as long as we can move with the correct rhythm of life, we'd be all right. But if we continue to act like what's going on in the world ain't going on, and as long as it's not directly affecting us at this very single moment, but the reality is it has. We done lost so much of our rights, so much of our abilities, and people are still acting like they waiting for it to affect you. It has affected you so much, you're not your real version of you. You're not your raw version of self. You're not the true version anymore. You know for a fact if you say something, your boss will be like, What's that you posted? Your friends gonna be like, oh, oh those are the politics you believe in? They gonna be like, oh, I don't believe in this path. So they corrupt your own reality of what you know in your heart. So now you don't wanna say it, you don't wanna do it, you don't wanna be your real self anymore. And then those who are real, they start seeming as crazy. You know what I mean? Now they are the ones who seem like, oh, they being hatred, they being judgmental. No, they being real. They being real. Y'all be wanting everything to be goddamn lollipops and rainbows, but both of them things are corrupted. It's corrupted and we know it and, and, and y'all and black men for sure ain't gonna lay down and act like this shit ain't going on because we sick when we live in an environment that's not conducive to our nature. And ain't none of this shit that's going on in the world conducive to our nature. We know it's not. None of it's conducive to our nature. We know the way that we go out and we live life and it's just sick and we just so normalizing sickness. And what they call progress ain't really progress. Are you progressive? You progressive. No, you don't need to be progressive. You need to be truthful. You need to be real. You need to be good. You need to be righteous. We got to take a step back. Like, I'm going to teach y'all y'all gods. I don't care. No, I don't, listen, you don't want to know it. Y'all some gods. I know, it, it, you know, everything watered down these days. Nobody want to say nothing. Y'all some gods. And that's what they've been fighting so long to keep y'all away from your true and authentic purpose. Man, I swear all of this stuff that be going on in the world, man. If, if you think about it, it makes your heartache. It makes your, it gives you a headache. Because you like, I know it got to be something better. How many generations got to go through the same curses until we get to those blessings, until we live blissfully? But we can't get no peace unless we go to war with the boy that's already out there. That's the only way we get the course correct. And it's like, don't walk on eggshells. Be bold during this time. Only boldness will be, boldness will be rewarded during this time. Boldness will be rewarded. Be truthful and be bold in your truth. You know what I mean? In, not, not in your truth. Be bold in the truth. Be bold in the truth. Change it from your truth to the truth. Be bold in the truth. Because sometimes we can be tricked by our truth, deceiving ourselves to individual narcissism, ignoring the reality of the truth so we can live in our truth. And any time that the, the, the mass media pushes something, this is how you know it's not the right thing. Just think about it. Like, does the mass media agree with this campaign? Is this buzzword coming from the mass media? Then you know you're doing the things that the masses are doing, which means you're doing the thing that masses want you to do. It's not until you're doing that thing that makes other people uncomfortable. You're wearing something, got the symbols on it, represent, oh, I represent different. Oh, he's not just wearing no chrome hearts. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, how come the whole culture wearing chrome hearts? The white boy's brand. And that's the most popping thing out. How do we continue to keep reverberating the same BS? How do we continue to push the same narratives? All of this knowledge, all of this knowledge, and we can't have a brand that comes from a black family. Well, a black man has a black wife and they create a, a, a clothing line that the culture taps into. So we know that we are connecting our dollar to generational wealth so that it can reverberate and become generational power. You telling me we can't do that? We can't figure that out? Y'all got me messed up, man. Y'all believe that that's reality. You telling me that's that's where we at? No, we got to be bold, man. Only the bold will be rewarded because... Everybody else is quiet. Everybody, people are complicit in being little devils because they don't want to say nothing against the devil. No, everybody thinks it's everybody else. I'm going to tell y'all, you being a coward. I don't know, only kids supposed to speak up. You being a coward. If you don't think it's your place as well to disrupt things. And see, there's the reason why it makes it so hard for those who are. You want to turn everybody into a martyr. No, we want the, le the, the, the legends to live long. We want living, living figures that are legendary. Nah, but when everybody quiet, like, but that's not my place. I don't really do that. Why do you want so-and-so to speak up? Why, man, come on, man. Y'all just cowards. Let's just be honest about it. You, So many people, don't, when, when you think about doing something, you don't do it because you ain't got the heart for it. It ain't no other way to put it. You know what I mean? You think that only those who step outside in positions of leadership got to sacrifice while everybody else reap the benefits of their sacrifice? Type of coward is you. Why you think you deserve something if you don't put in no work? And why come you always got to wait for somebody else to start it in order for you to be a part of it? <sighs> I don't like it. The politics is fake. Your circle of friends is fake. You know what I'm saying? We live in an artificial reality and ain't nobody challenging nothing. I get comfortable in situations where there ain't nothing real being spoken about or done. I gotta remove myself. You know? We be on something real. And when we do something real, listen. It's like even doing a show. I don't really grade the success. I don't even, I, I grade my success, you know, just based on my ability to continue.